guys, welcome back to Big John TV, where we're all about food, family, and fun. After a long hiatus and many requests for its return, we are back with What's Cooking Wednesday. But we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to share 12 days of simple, minimal ingredient Christmas recipes. We're going to call it 12 Days of Treats. Let's get started. All right, guys, today's treat, we are making a breakfast. This is a breakfast strata. Let's get going. We have in our bowl 10 eggs. To that, we're going to add half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of dry mustard, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white powder, and a quarter teaspoon of thyme. We're also gonna add in two cups of milk. And whisk it all together. That looks like it's all nicely mixed up. Into this, we're gonna add eight cups of bread. This is just some leftover kind of stale hamburger buns I had. And we'll toss that to coat it all up. This is about two cups of diced sharp cheddar. We're gonna add about half of it right now. And then this is two cups of shredded Italian style cheese. You can use any you like. A pepper jack would be good in here. Also added about a cup worth. Stir that up. This is an entire one pound package of bacon. We're gonna add about half of it now and one pound of sausage. I've buttered an aluminum tray. You could do this in your nine by 13 also, but I like the higher sides in these pans. I don't have a nine by 13 with high sides. Now we're gonna add about half of this mixture into our pan. Sprinkle with some more of your cheese. That was actually probably about a third of my mixture. The great thing about this recipe is you can really add anything you want into it. Vegetables, meats, just about anything would be excellent in this different herbs. You could use spinach, basil, asparagus, squash. I'm going to top with a little bit more of our sausage crumbles. bacon our cubed cheese I 
I think that looks good. And finally our shredded cheese. This would be good for a brunch with a nice salad on the side, or it's excellent for Christmas morning because you can make this way in advance. It'll last three months frozen in the freezer, three to four days in the fridge, and it definitely does better if you let it set before you cook it. So we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for one hour before we bake. There we go, this sat in the fridge for about an hour. You could do this overnight or up to three days in advance or longer if you're gonna freeze it. This is gonna go into our 350 degree oven for 40 to 50 minutes, uncovered. There we go, that took about 45 minutes. I did broil the top just at the end. This is super hot, we're gonna let it cool a bit, take a big chunk out and give it a taste. All right, I cut myself a hefty hunk of this. Now let's give it a taste. Ooh, it's gonna be hot. It smells so good. It's good and meaty and cheesy. Great texture with that bread in there. It's not dry. It's still quite moist great flavors the great thing about this is you can change it up you could put anything you like in it any meats any vegetables you could do it all hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you do all the things like subscribe share with your friends and we'll catch you on the next one bye